Well, millions of us use photo sharing apps like Instagram every day. But how would you feel about, seeing, about the world seeing your lumps, bumps, and medical scans at the click of a button? Doctors are starting to use a new smartphone app that lets the medical community post and share pictures of unusual cases. CCTV's Christian Yeo has the story. When you're sick, looking up the symptoms online is a surefire way of giving yourself a fright. The vast amounts of data, opinion and often contradictory advice makes it almost impossible to know for sure what you're dealing with. Seeing a doctor face to face is still the safest course of action. But what happens when the doctors themselves are stumped? Well, they go online, of course. Patients are often warned against going online to identify their ailments, but doctors have been using the internet for decades to identify unknown symptoms and to exchange treatment advice with their peers around the world. Now a new smartphone app aims to make that task easier. Figure One is an app designed by and for medical practitioners. It's a tool that lets healthcare professionals from around the world connect using images that they can take on their smartphones while obeying patient privacy uh, rules in different countries around the world. It's a sort of Instagram for medicine. Instead of selfies and culinary masterpieces, though, users share and discuss x-rays, rashes, anything relevant to a patient's case. It's available throughout the English-speaking world with big plans to expand. I think there's a large amount of potential in areas of the world where there's unstructured healthcare, uh, areas of Asia and across Africa. We're able to reach healthcare professionals in remote areas uh, who need the help and the aid of specialists from around the globe. It can reach doctors anywhere with mobile data coverage and has already been used by Doctors Without Borders on the front line of the Ebola outbreak. So here's the Ebola post. They were posting images to help educate healthcare professionals, mostly uh, in North America and in Europe, about uh, the spread of Ebola um, when they were combating it. A young, younger man has been complaining of having chest pain. Dr. Chi Ming Chao is a cardiologist and medical professor with a background in computer science. He says apps are changing the way medicine is taught and administered, helping doctors become more efficient and accurate. But patient privacy, he says, should always be paramount. When we make a pictures, uh, we are taught to make sure that, you know, the patient is not identifiable, uh, you know, for that particular pictures. And people's name or identifiable information uh, are not posted along with it. So, you know, bearing those limitations of privacy, which we should all respect, uh, this app provides tremendous uh, avenue and actually provides an insight about how uh, the medical world is going to work. So, as we always say, no man is an island. And I think now we can say no doctor is an island. That's the philosophy increasingly taught to the next generation of doctors. For them, technology and collaborative diagnosis is already an integral part of their training. You come across some very strange diseases that you never see in developed countries. Um, when you are able to put up a picture, then you can communicate with other doctors. For example, we sent some um, echoes back to Dr. Chow, so he, he'll be able to do an interpretation on it uh, right in his lab in Toronto. With use of a tool like this, those findings can be up in seconds. And the makers of Figure One say they plan to make it available for download in every market in the world within 12 months. High hopes then for the photo app that gives new meaning to the concept of going viral. Christian Yo, CCTV, Toronto.